I just uploaded the video on the pink pocket Rio. Um, what I really intended to do today was a page by page of my um, Ording and Rita planner that I won from It's by Emmy. If you haven't checked out her channel, um, definitely do that. Uh, I really like what she does with her planner. I like listening to her voice and I, you know, I like the style of her videos. So, I am still using this. I have been using it since um, I got it from her. And it's been a really interesting experiment. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I did a, like, a review on it. So, I'm not going to go over, you know, what, what space there is and what pockets there are and, you know, basically what there isn't. I just want to do a page by page um, to show you how things are organically happening. Um, for me, I can't get a new planner and set up a million dividers and put in paper and assume I'm going to need things because it really doesn't, it doesn't ever work for me. Um, when I first got this, and I will probably do this from now on, is all I had in here were the week on two page sheets and the blank sheets, and a couple of Filofax plain sheets that I um, punched, and these, which are the very nice contact pages with perforated areas so if you cut them out you now have dividers which I think is a bang up idea um, so in the front on my flyleaf here I decorated it with the one of the window clings that came with the flow magazine and I did do a video on the flow magazine. I know I've talked about actually putting window clings on um, fly leaves before but I'd never done it because I didn't really have one that I liked but I love the, the transparency of it and I would do this again in a heartbeat. Um, there is another window cling in the flow magazine that I got and I may make another one because I this is so pretty to me um, another thing I put on the back it's gonna be hard to see I think uh, Midori Traveler's Notebook makes a variety of stick-on pockets some stick very strongly and are meant for the leather inside and these are, let me see if I can, rectangular with stick, sticky stuff on three sides. And I just put one, let me see, yeah, I think you can see where the sticky stuff is. I just put one on the back of the flyleaf so that if I don't have anything in it, it doesn't really show at all. And I have stamps in it. Um, these are nice. I don't think they replace the other ones, um, but they're really a nice adjunct. And a couple on a page would make a great photo album type thing. Uh, I have my picture of Ventura. This actually was part of that window cling too. I cut out one of the images. I didn't redo my whole contact section. I just moved it over from my personal. Um, I don't have a ton of contacts in here, but I didn't feel like rewriting them. Um, and it was easy to just add them in. I think I just made... I actually think all I did was make this hole bigger than it fit. Um, one thing I decided to put in here recently was some puzzles. Um, frying my brain with um, Facebook games and I thought I would rather do something 
that's engaging rather than mindless. And I like um, cryptograms and I like crossword puzzles. So I just put a few pages in here. I actually just had one page and I did these two and I added two more pages this morning of the cryptograms and one more crossword puzzle and when I get the urge to play Candy Crush Saga I just do one of these things um, I think it just sharpens your mind instead of whatever it does whatever online games do which is not sharpening um, I put in, there's a couple things I did add, um, this came out of More Magazine, and it was about changing a habit, and I just cut out the whole article, stuck it in here. These are the, um, yeah, I think they're day timer, yep, day timer, and... I punched them and cut them down and what I do with these is I only get paid once a month so throughout the month I make a payday shopping list and you'll see them so that I can buy when I do have money instead of buying when I don't. Um, this I believe came with this planner and it looks like I have it upside down. It's a uh, three-sided, two-sided, two-sided um, pocket. I'm going to have to turn that right up. And an information page. I just put my email address. Um, this is, I don't really know what this is. This has got every day of the year and a boy and a girl's name. I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, I think this is in Swedish. And what I did with this was I just crossed off every day until today and I cross a new day off every you know the next day and I can see how much of the year is gone and how much of the year is left and it's a very visual representation if I want to sit and think what have I accomplished uh, this year um, I thought about doing it on the Um, the yearly pages. Um, this planner has a year on four pages. I like that because there's a little bit more room than um, the year on a page. Um, but I decided not to. I decided to do it on here because the whole year is together. And this is the layout of the week on two pages. I had to keep these in uh, even though they're from December because of what was on the flip side of them. So this is when I started using it and I am only using a gray pen and an aqua color to highlight and a sort of lime green color to highlight I, um, I tick off things with the aqua color and I highlight the date with the lime green one because I'm, I have more than one page on almost every day. This is my um, payday shopping list. And I do have some tape and some stickers on here but really not a lot. Um, I'm going to just try to pull out here. Um, I, I like the way this looks. I 
can tell what I'm doing. I it's easy to read. Um, I'm not nuts about filling in every day. I I'm you know I can't do that to myself. There's a, a couple of maybe a week where there wasn't really that much written in here. Um, and this day I couldn't find my aqua highlighter. I mean, I'm really not getting crazy and anal about everything. Um, that makes planning not fun. And it needs to be a little fun for me at least. So I'm not driving myself crazy. Um, and this was the day I lost Ginger. Uh, and I didn't really have a lot going on after that. My my family was on vacation, and I, you know, stayed home with Ginger and Ventura. And then I ended up losing Ginger that week, and I didn't really get as much done as I had planned to, um, you know. But I just kept it up and write, wrote in whatever I felt like writing in, and. You know, didn't really stress myself that I wasn't doing my planner right. I think that's like a sure way for me to stop using it. Um, I've been using a lot of my uh, template um, symbols and uh, a lot of arrows that I make with my template. Um, like if the day continues on the next page, I will do a notation um, that it's a continued day. And that's been, it's all been working out really well for me. Um, I do use these post-its for uh, reoccurring tasks, but I also write it in on that day when that day comes so I know that I did it. Um, that's the problem I had with, uh, I know a lot of people use the Martha Stewart dewdrops and move them from day to day when they do reoccurring things, but then I have no idea whether I did it or not, you know, once I moved it. so. This is to water my Christmas cactus, and when I do it tomorrow, I'll write in here that I did it and move this to the next Tuesday. Um, this was a long craft ruler that I had, probably two and a half feet long, but it was so flexible that it was kind of a pain in the neck for me to use, so I just cut it down and I'm using it for a page marker. This is the um, payday shopping list that will be coming up for Wednesday. And this is the rest of Saturday, Sunday, and this is today. And you can see I haven't been writing a lot, but I've certainly been continuing what I'm doing. Um, in my local Hallmark, I found these date. Uh, removable tabs. Um, I decided to put them in since I don't use monthly dividers and I'm not crazy about the colors you know they're all different colors but it is what it is. Uh, these, This is um, the blank lined paper and something about using it has improved my handwriting. I guess it's a combination of just me focusing and using the right pen and the right paper, but my handwriting's much better. Um, this is my um, nail polish swatch page. I'm still working on it, but I have a good amount. And I'm using these post-it tabs for that too. It's mostly so I don't rebuy um, the same thing over and over. I can't tell you how many that I didn't like the first time I've bought a second time. And I'm planning some home projects and I'm printing out the things that I'm interested in 
and this is from Ikea. Isn't that great? I'm thinking about making this into uh, night tables. Getting two of them. I really like them. Um, so these are all the pages that I've printed out. I like that. For um, what I need to do in the bedroom. Some design ideas. Some possible furniture ideas. And flooring. I need to change the flooring. So I've ordered some samples. And... I'm keeping track of what my design ideas are and it's an ever painful situation with coffee pot so I'm considering a French press and also a Chemex I've got some recipes in here some offers from uh, internet uh, telephone and television providers and some blank pages the rest of the year and the contact sheets and underneath the um, it doesn't have a pen loop so I'm using my Maduri Traveler's Notebook slide on and under that I just have some pages to for pen pal letters and that's really it um, I think I learned a few things about not setting things up in advance. Uh, it's been a good lesson. I've sort of been heading in that direction anyway. And letting your setup evolve organically is definitely the way I want to go um, moving forward. And also minimizing the color. It's just a better situation for me. It's less chaotic. I like the way it looks. Um, and I, I, I don't need to have a million pens anymore. Uh, I just need to have the, a few that work for me. So I definitely learned uh, a few things changing to this binder. I don't have any plans at the moment to switch out. The rings are not big, but um, I'm certainly getting by uh, something I didn't think would work either. And it has to do with, you know, how flexible this is and the length of the strap. But overall, I would say this is definitely working out really well for me. And that is my update for today. Um, Ventura's got a new bed, a giant foam mattress with some kind of cooling function because he gets really hot. So he slept through this whole video like most of my family members are inclined to do, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to get that phone now. Thanks guys.